Hello there, Internet. Steve here again with another Unity Asset Store review. Um, today we are going to be looking at the Office and Police Station pack by Finward Studios. This pack, at the time of this recording, retails for $69. Um, let's go over the uh, um, rating overview that I use. Uh, quality, it's high quality. Um, it supports uh, both. It supports all three uh, rendering pipelines, so built-in URP and HDRP out of the box. Um, the as you'll see when we hit play, the um, the actual um, the actual quality is quite high. Um, I'm running this one in built-in. I tend to run most of these in built-in uh, when I do them, but I am running this in built-in. Um, but yeah, quality is high, so it passes. Uh, and as a reminder, I do only pass fail. Um, so that passes. Modularity and workability definitely passes. Uh, we'll go, we'll break that down in a little more detail when we go into the overview scene. Um, but I think they did a good job on uh, the modularity of the different pieces. Um, and then uh, customization, there's some decent, you know, uh, this is part of, part of modularity and workability. Um, so the reason I'm bringing this up now is there was someone who commented in the links or not in links in the uh, asset store page about some textures used from texture.com textures.com um, they addressed that and they modified them so they're not the original textures but you can pop out your own textures if you really wanted to um, so I actually think that for this one the customization and the modularity is good uh, so it definitely passes. Um, the support and serviceability, the, I, I've got, I think, all of Finward Studios assets. Um, I have used this pack, actually, in a game jam I did a couple years ago or something. I don't remember how long ago. But they're, they're quick to respond. Um, they are, like, when I've reached out to them, um, they've always gotten back to me. So definitely passes on support and serviceability. And then value, you know, cost versus benefit, essentially. Um, I I would say this passes. I think what you get, uh, you know, the quality, the the modularity for you to be able to make a lot of different unique types of buildings and stuff, I think that that is all um, very good. So I think that, yeah, for 69 bucks, I mean, that's, that's a lot for some people, but for an actual asset of this quality, I think that it's, it is more than worth the value. So let's jump right in here. So we're in the, this is the demo scene that they provide. We're in the hallway or the entryway. Um, let's, let's go through the office. No, actually let's go through jail, the jail section first. Um, so there's a lot of clutter and set pieces, a lot of good options for that. Um, piping and stuff like that as well. Um, different shrubbery stuff, different stuff you would see in a police station. Um, prior to my doing all this kind of work, I worked in law enforcement, and I, I can attest to the fact that there's a lot of this sort of, you know, really patriotic stuff in... Uh, at least American police departments. So, um, so going back through here, um, got what I'm, I have to assume is, you know, the, um, either chief or lieutenant or sergeant's room, essentially the brass. Um, a lot of these set pieces, a lot of these set pieces and stuff are, um, are, uh, um, the same, but, mixing them together in creative ways can make them look different. So that's good. Um, again, I'm using built in here. So when you really zoom in, some of this stuff may look not amazing, but the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, if you look at it from a sum of its parts, um, I think that the fidelity is still good, especially for built in, you know, again, this also supports, URP and HDRP, if I were running this on HDRP, it would probably look even a lot better. Um, so, you see, yeah, so they have, 
I'll show this in the overview scene, but they've got like a large building as like a backdrop building. Um, go to the locker room. Can't read it. Shucks. <laughs> And like I said, we'll dive into some of this stuff when we actually go into the um, into the uh, asset manifest scene as well. Um, but you can sort of see that they reuse a lot of the prop pieces, but that's all right. Um, some more of that patriotic stuff. Um, so let's actually, I think, did I... Did I... Oh, you know what? It's over here. Well, let's do this first. Let's go to the conference room. Um, is it over here? Or did I skip it? Oh, there's an evidence room slash maybe the an armory. Those those look like armory lockers, if I'm being honest. Um, but it's definitely an evidence you know room as well. Um, actually, I never looked at this before. I think like there's a decent amount of boxes um, so yeah there's a decent variety of that looks like um, bathroom got in the bathroom let's hop down here next so you've got your holding area um, Here, get your good old wall toilets. Um, so this is on the other end. This is uh, we went in there. Actually, we'll do this. Don't let's cut down that one, that hallway as well. Assuming detectives' offices. Uh, elevators, there's nothing really up here other than the exit. Um, let's hop down here. And then uh, we are back. Oh, actually, we didn't walk through here before, that's right. So this would be sort of the main, like when you go into a police department, um, usually there is like a desk that you walk up to. Um, there's usually an officer manning that desk. They don't really have anything like that added in here, but that's all right. Um, the one thing it doesn't have uh, that I've been able to find um, in the overview is like a two-way mirror or a two-way, you know, window for creating a um, an interview room. You know, um, unfortunately, that's not a thing. But honestly. You could just like they do. They do give you pieces where you could like hobble something together yourself with that. But that's out of the, all the things that are in here. That's not really the end of the world. Um, sort of a briefing desk. Um, the layout of this is sort of weird. This isn't how like actual PDs would be set up, but that's all right. Um, so that's like the one thing that I wish they had, but. Obviously, the elevators are enterable. The elevators have interiors. You can program those to have, you know, ups uh, to, um, you know, move and stuff like that. So, oh. nope. Whoopsie doodles. <laughs> um, all right. Um, so that's that. Uh, hop out here. You can sort of see the. Um, Builders back there, but let's hop to the actual manifest scene here. Um, so that's that big, like background piece that I said. Obviously, it's it's single faced, um, so it's really just meant for you know backgrounds. Um, so let's hop over here. So you've got a couple of different stairwell pieces, um, specifically. Like, I, I think they did a good job on this, if I'm being honest. I think they did a really good job. Um, you have both left and right side mid pieces. Then you've got uh, um, angled top and straight tops. So I do like the way that they did that. Um, you've got pre-made cells that um, 
already have the walls in them, which is nice, or you can so let me select it, or, or you can make your own. Um, um, so I guess I'll just go down these pieces, the wall pieces individually. Um, start over here. So you've got different sized walls with both door cutouts and not door cutouts. <clears throat> I like to see this because sometimes like doing level design, I like to just batch out a wall you know and it makes it a lot easier to have a piece like this or a piece like this or a piece like this than to have to cobble together smaller pieces this is also better from an optimization standpoint um, you're dealing with <clears throat> like usually you can reduce the the vertices and stuff like that on this sort of thing um, and just in general the less items that you have the less prefabs you have in your scene this is a over gross overgeneralization, but usually that is something that helps if you structure stuff and you're seeing the right way that doesn't necessarily matter but some people don't understand those like optimization tricks so stuff like this definitely helps with that same thing with the floors the different size floors i really like to see uh yeah the different size floor piece, pieces rather i really like to see this as well because that allows me to either chunk it out in large pieces or if I have to or if I really want to get fine tuning you know level design I, I, I can use smaller pieces so that sort of stuff I like to see with walls and floors and they do a good job of that with just the flat walls um, over here there are some pillars there are two-sided and four-sided pillars so like these would be like actual pillars that would be in the middle of a room, uh, what you would consider to be load-bearing pillars. These would be more if you wanted to, like, uh, um, there there were some examples of it in the example scene, but if you wanted to, like, do, you know, we'll do this. Um, so if you wanted to do this and sort of give your level more sort of flavor and just not have it be like a flat wall you can do that with these sorts of pieces and it did i oh i guess i did drag it off oops <laughs> and it just gives it a more it gives your levels a more unique um feel <laughs> to do stuff like that it also allows you to do edges uh easier as well so you could also do um is it w no, it's not. uh do, do, do. oh that was embarrassing um come on there we go. so you can drag that guy out drag this guy out and then oh, my shortcuts are not working why are they not working all right whatever and then drag these guys in drag this guy up and over and you can create those sorts of is that right yeah i would want to probably move it in a little bit more but that's me too much so but you get the idea you you can add those sorts of faces jutting out from um you know a flat wall to create uh you know a sort of barrier in your level stuff like that so point is i like to see those single side faced um uh, pieces as well and then this is something that's really overlooked in a lot of modular level packs but this really thin piece comes in a lot comes in super handy uh when you're trying to do more complex level design um so i i really like to see that i i i think uh, you know, I, I've been happy just with thin words uh, stuff in general, and, and little stuff like that makes all the difference when you're doing level design. So, uh, some large uh, wall length windows, uh, option of that with the door, option of that with the double door. I like to see all of that. Um, uh, so, this is where, like, you have, if you wanted to create, um, so as you can see, there's a, you know, multi-sided it's not single-faced so what you could do with this is you could drop it 
um, uh, onto like one, uh, sorry, like attach it to like one of the ceilings and give more of a drop down. You could create, you know, pseudo half walls with that. There's a lot of stuff you can do with that. And you could even use that for creating that double sided um, or that, sorry, one way glass that I was talking about. Um, so uh, lots of door options, both glass doors and non glass doors. You obviously have your jail cell door, can't have that, or can't have this sort of pack without that. Um, half window walls, which I also like to see, um, and half window wall with the door. Um, and then you could also, I think, yeah, I think, oh, maybe you can't do it with that. So you would have to do that one way glass then with something like this piece. Um, I already talked about the floors, so I'm not going to go too far over that. So let's start over here, the larger stuff. So different mats. Um, these sorts of mats you would see in like a shoot in like a shooting range inside of a department, which you could also use that uh, hanging piece for a shooting range. You can make a shooting range with that if you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, these sorts of mats are the sort of things you would see in like the range or the locker room, something like that, maybe even the armory. Um, uh, you could also, I mean, you, that also looks like you, oh, you know what? That's actually a regular rug. I was too far out. Maybe they don't have a mat like that. Yeah, these are all rugs. My, my mistake. <laughs> so um, these are all just floor rugs, space rugs. So never mind on that. A um, couple of bench options, a bunch of table and desk options, uh, standing desk, um, larger tables, like four-legged tables, four-legged tables, uh, dividers. So these would be for, you know, creating like uh, cubicles if you want, if you wanted to portray that in your department. Um, you've got obviously different size blinds. Um, bathroom stall doors. I like the fact that these are modularized out, if I'm being honest, um, the, especially the way that they are. It gives you a lot of flexibility to build large or small bathrooms. Um, more dividers, a lot of divider options. Uh, so these ones are going to be half size dividers. <clears throat> um, again, a good amount of desk options that like do match together. Um, so these do match these, stuff like that. Um, I think I think this is, yeah, so you can break these out too if you really wanted to. So you can duplicate them out, double them up, stuff like that. A lot of options there. I think this side is also, yeah, that side is also, and the drawers are, yeah, the drawers are also individual. So you can animate those if you want to um, and make those interactable. Uh, got to have your Zen crap for in the bathrooms and in the, you know, department as a whole. Woo sa shelving. Um, I, I would like to see more shelving if I'm honest, if I'm being honest, but that's all right. Um, that's, that's can be used as multi-purpose shelving. Uh, so got your, um, is it a cell bed? Oh, great. That's awesome. Um, so you've got your cell bed. I guess that's like the cell shelf. Okay. Um, toilet. So you got your cell toilet, uh, cell sink, you know, water cooler, uh, a couple of garbage cans, signage, which is nice. Um, so different types of, uh, uh, clutter, which I like to see, you know, pens, stuff like that. Phones, also nice. Lamps. Um, this lamp does not have a light source baked in to it. I don't believe, do not believe. Yeah, it does not, but you can, oh, actually, maybe it does. Oh, I guess it does. Okay. I was wrong about that. Um, so this is where I was saying there's a lot of boxes and stuff like that. Um, what would have been nice on some of these is if the lids were separate, so you can animate those. Um, I think the metal one is, yeah, the metal one is, but the, um, 
the other ones are not. It would have been nice. It would have been nice to see these ones have lids on them, so those could also be animated. But not the end of the world. Um, so lots of uh, individualized shelf um, clutter, which I like to see. <laughs> Guns from Maniacs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I knew a couple of guys who would have a, a book like that on their on their shelf. Anyways, um, so here are those uh, desk pieces that were over there as well. Um, so these guys are also modularized, so smaller desks. Uh, these are going to get into your armory, um, your armory cabinets, which are also, as you can see, um, uh, there we go. Also, all of these are um, animatable, so that's nice. Um, you got your uh, actual um, evidentiary shelving, which is nice. Um, so your non-cell related uh, bathroom gear right from here to here, um, your, your non-cell bathroom sinks, you've got all of your wall clutter which again is nice, I think. <laughs> um, so you know, motivational and patriotic stuff you're going to see in a lot of departments. More wall clutter back here. Um, so tack board, you know, type crap. It would have been nice to have these, like, um, uh, um, nested. So these would be individuals, so you can sort of mix and match and make your own. It also would have been nice to see something like, um, um, having an easy way to swap out, uh, uh, you know, meshes on those as well as these, but it's all right. It's not the end of the world. Um, that's getting into a real nitpicky end of things. And I think that, I do think that the value is for sure there, regardless of whether that is or is not. So lots of overhead lamps and lighting, which is nice. Um, um, so I think that's a lamp too. Yeah, yeah. So from well, technically from here, all the way down to here is all lighting. Um, so that's nice to see. Uh, a good amount of options for that. A handful of chairs, um, and then a decent amount of computer uh, uh, computer stuff as well. Um, so there's some options there for vers uh, vers uh, diversification in your level design. Um, you know, a few more pieces of clutter, um, which is nice to see. I actually didn't check this. Is it? Yeah, okay. Um, and then you've got your just sort of accent stuff. So, oh, excuse me. Um, you've got some air vent stuff. Um, a few different options there. You've got actual hanging ventilation, um, which I think is single-faced. Yeah, it's single-faced. Um, and then uh, piping, and this is the piping that I pointed out in that actual demo scene, and then a little bitty sprinkler head here. So um, I think that you get a lot, and there's a lot of versatility with what you get out of the pack. A um, couple of nit, you know nitpicky pieces aside, I I don't think it's worth um, you know hammering for that because I do think that I do think that this has a lot of value. I think it's worth it, and I think that um, it's I think it's definitely worth the money. So I do recommend this asset. Like I said, I used it in a game jam a couple of years back, and it worked super well. Um, so uh, oh. I, I forgot to point this out because I um because <clears throat> I uh, made a big deal about it in the last one, but um, this demo scene just works out of the box with the carriage controller, so all the colliders and setup are set up right and all that because I because I can. 
because I can do all the fun little wall running and slicing and stuff. So, yeah, uh, it just works out of the box. I didn't do anything with that scene other than take my um, character controller and just drop it in. That's what I like uh, in, a, in a scene. That's what I prefer, and I, that's kind of the hallmark of, in my opinion, a really well thought out scene um, if I don't have to do a bunch of extra BS. That's also why I use the built-in, because usually for URP and HDRP, you have to do more. But um, yeah, that's <clears throat> I just dragged it in, and it worked. So yeah, I think that this asset is worth the money, especially if you can get it on a sale. But <clears throat> I think for the you know 70 bucks that it costs normally, I think it's still worth the money. So uh, that's my sort of review, overview on this asset. I think it's worthwhile. And uh, let me know if you have this one, if you like it, if you don't, whatever, let me know um, in the comments. And I'll see everyone in the next one.